So next we're going to do our chloride strips. Um, and these are a little different than the pH strips. There is an indicator line at the top that changes from orange to black when it is done taking its reading. So we've collected another sample of water and we're going to submerge our chloride strip for about um, 45 seconds to a minute until we see a change in color on our top um, indicator line. Go. Okay, so our orange strip has turned black, which indicates that it is ready to go. And we were careful when we put this in that we didn't fill our container, container up higher than that orange line or else it would tell us it was done before it really was. So now it might be a little hard to see, but the bottom has changed colors. So there's this nice light yellow triangle coming up and where that point ends is what our reading is going to be. So it looks like it's ending right about at 3.2. So what that means is we're going to come over here to our bottle or our sheet that has the conversions on it. So we are at 3.2 Quantab units, which means there's 0.016% sodium chloride and 97 parts per million of our chloride ions. So we're going to write down those two numbers, the percent NaCl and the part per million chloride ions onto our data sheet. And then we're going to tape our um, strip to our sheet so we can refer back to it when we need to.